up YouTube. How is it going? I am Tyrant here, and in this video, as you can already see, we're going to be looking at some Star Citizen. To be more precise, we're going to be looking at the joystick as a method of control in game. This is going to be my first impressions of the joystick. The joystick I'm using is the Satec X52 Pro, and the clip in the background is literally the first time I've used this joystick. I thought it'd be only fair to give a true first impression of it as a control method of a game. So, as a result, I do apologise for my piss poor flying in this video. Anywho, let's get down to the content. The first thing I noticed straight off the bounce with the joystick is that it doesn't have the same accuracy or pinpoint accuracy as the mouse and keyboard. This, if I'm honest, I was kind of expecting. Because the keyboard and mouse, hands down, generally speaking, are the most accurate controller for most games, if not all games. But the joystick does have one thing in its favour. When you're using the mouse and keyboard, personally I find I get very tunnel vision as I'm just focusing on the cursor rather than actually flying my ship, just trying to get the guns and target. With the joystick however, I find instinctively I've lost this tunnel vision, I've more focusing on the ship and the surroundings, so I'm trying to line the ship up in advance by trying to predict where the target is going to be. As a result, already I feel like I'm flying better than I was when I was using the keyboard and mouse. I might not be landing as many shots on target, but the actual flying of the ship I feel like has improved, which is a brilliant thing, as obviously as I get better at lining the ship up, this could work in my favour. Another thing is, I find that you're more instinctively focusing on where the ship's going to be, trying to get that one move ahead of your opponent, which in any dogfighting game is very important. Even like, let's imagine it as a game of chess, you're trying to get that one move ahead to gain the advantage. The same applies to Star Citizen. The next big thing going for the joystick is the buttons on them. This of course is going to depend on the joystick you're using. But in the case of the X52 Pro, which I'm using, there's enough buttons there for what I need and I can all, they're all easy to get to. I'm not having to move around my hands, they're all within easy reach. So this is on the stick and the throttle and I find it wonderful. I'm not having to look for buttons like I would have to do on the joypad. The joypad is good for the game but the Xbox one what I was using just simply doesn't have enough buttons on it. You're having to like double tap stuff, double click stuff to get the response what you want. This just simply isn't the case with the joystick. But it's there, easy to use, job done. Next thing I found with the joystick is that it is simply put the most immersive control method going for the game. This has got to be expected because of course it's a joystick and throttle. Hands down it's going to be the most immersive. But this doesn't really affect the gameplay, it more affects how much you're enjoying the game. Which in itself could be regarded as the biggest thing going, because we all play the game to enjoy it. Again, with the joystick, I am really enjoying the game compared to when I was using the keyboard and mouse. Yes, I enjoyed it, but with the joystick it's the closest I feel like you can get to actually feeling like you're actually flying the ship. Which is a big advantage over just using the keyboard and mouse where you're just simply trying to line up a cursor. One drawback I have found though, which correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't been able to find a way to adjust the sensitivity of the stick in game, which at its current state the stick's like a little bit too sensitive for my liking, as the movements are just like a little bit too, well, exaggerated to what I'd like them to be. Which I might be wrong, but, because I didn't spend that much time looking for it, if I'm honest. I just wanted to get in and play with the game, but Again, I know this is something that will be added to the game, so it's only a drawback in the game's current state, but it'd just be nice to be able to have a slider of some sort, just to adjust the sensitivity of the joystick. As you just saw there, another disadvantage of the joystick, to you learn where the buttons are, you can accidentally clip one and mess with the view of the game. There, if it had been in Arena Commander Online, that could have had a serious effect for me. And anyway, that's pretty much everything I want to cover in this one, because as I said, it was just a first impressions. I might do a follow-up later on for a bit more in-depth if people want it. But as a whole so far, I'm really enjoying using the joystick. I feel like it's enjoyable to use, fairly intuitive once you've been playing for it for a little bit. And obviously again, the clip behind is the first time I've used it. Since then, the more I've used it, the better I've got with it. And I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't have the same accuracy as a mouse and keyboard. No one expected that. Because obviously you can't take advantage of gimbaled, gimbaled weapons, sorry, to the same extent. But it's, I don't think I can enjoy it as much with keyboard and mouse. Which to me is more important 
been being effective in game. I prefer to be enjoying it than being a little bit more effective using the keyboard and mouse. Again, this has been Iron Tyrant. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll leave you with the rest of this one. Fly safe out there.